Hey guys, Ali's Techie and today we are talking about this Sony stereo which is in well it's a Sony car stereo here. Alright, I don't know if you can see because the lighting isn't very good. But this is um WX eight hundred UI. Alright, so um I'll just show you this is how you turn it on, you press the source button on here. Alright. Turn the volume all the way down here. All right, so um, this is connected to um, the speakers in my car. All okay, right, I don't want to get done for copyright here. All right, so um, first of all, I'll show you some basic features. All right, so um, I've got the um, display button here, and uh, that changes the display depending on what you're connected to um, so um, here let's say connected, I've got a CD in so it'll tell me the time tell me the name and it'll tell me that's it alright so um, if I press the source button I can change it here I can change it to AUX alright so now it says AUX in and uh, this isn't a Bluetooth one but there is a similar well it is exactly the same version with Bluetooth built in available, but I don't have that one in here in this car. All right, so um, of course you can buy one of these little dongles that I have. You can see the video that I made on this on um, my channel. All right, so um, it's two pounds off eBay or something. All right, so I think these stereos go around for a hundred and something pounds, brand new. All right, so um. Let's see, let's press the display button here. Alright, so I've got the display. It says AUX in. I've got AUX in and I've got the time here. That's the only setting on there. Alright. Now I've got a tuner, of course, which is just a radio. Alright, so I've got FM1. So that's the only setting I can have there. And then I've got USB. Alright, there's no display settings on there. Alright. Of course you can hear the beeps in the background. Alright, so um, of course you already know that um, this stereo does have an AUX port. Which is built right here. I don't know if you can see very well. Of course I'm only using the car lights here. It's dark outside, alright, and it's got a USB port as well. Alright, um, I prefer using the, um, well, it depends what you have. Um, of course, if you did get the Bluetooth version, you'd just use the Bluetooth. But um, if I didn't have this dongle here, I would use the USB over the AUX, because I can just change the songs from right here. Alright, and I just changed the radio. Alright. Um... Of course, I'll just plug this in and go in AUX and turn this on. All right, and that's how I would use Bluetooth here and connect it to my phone. All right, so that's the dongle here. All right, so um, then yeah, it does have megabit setting, settings here. Uh, CD, of course, which was the thing that right, I turned on when I turned the stereo on. All right, so I've got a CD in there. And then, um, of course, you can take the disc out. All right, just put that back in there. Make sure the volume's down. Don't want to cut rear strikes. All right. And so, um, got a search button here. All right. One out of fifteen. All right. So that 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 kind of some of the. And then I've got more here. All right. And then if uh, here, we'll just go through the settings here. We've got set the dimmer, which I can... All right. First, I've got set display. Okay. Um, we've got set general. All right. First, I'll show you the set display. Okay. So set dimmer. We can dim it here. So if you're driving at night. All right. So it is quite bright at night. It's 
especially if the colours are always flashing in your face. Turn it around. And uh, of course you can see the speedo and everything outside better. See the lighting difference there? Alright. And then um, you've got the button. Button colours. And then you've got set colour. Set custom colour. Alright. And then you've got a set aura colour. I'm not going to mess around with that. So it's sound sync, and then you can sync to the music, of course. Uh, you got set MDR display, alright, MD, dis M display even, media display, alright. And then you got set auto screen, alright. Then we got the general settings, which is, of course, the beep, which I can turn on and off. Sorry. Right, um, I've got the auto off. Oh, why am I saying auto? Right, auto off, okay, and then I've got CT, AM slash T, just, just clock and date and everything, okay. Uh, see, it. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of syncing to the music here. Um, and then I've got me set sound here, set fader, you can set fader, DSEE, AAV, alright, you've got all these settings, Ten, equalizer, set display, set general, alright, so that's the settings there, and then I've got the sound button here, which is going on presets and everything, alright, so um, that's it guys, let me just put it on the tuner, show you some settings here. And then I've got sound here. And I've got all these buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. Let me turn the thingy up. So. Alright. So um, you've got the eject button there and everything. Alright. And then simply to turn the stereo off, all you have to do is just hold this down. And if you keep holding it down, it just turns it off totally. I just hold it down and put it on there. Alright, so. Uh, hmm. Let me just set it back to CD. Alright, thanks guys. Um, this doesn't have a multi a CD changer though, it's just one CD at once. Sorry. So, thanks for watching guys. Ali's Tech, subscribe, like, and share. Hope you enjoyed the video. So, um, and if you did, make sure you leave a like and uh, comment if you want. Alright, and if you have anything, any suggestions, just put it in the comment section and make sure I read them. Hey, thanks guys. Ali's tech, subscribe, like, and share.